Alex, what are your immediate thoughts after today's defeat? Uh, well, disappointment. You know, I don't think that we reached our levels today. I thought first half, um, I sat as in a sort of four-to-four-two block, hoping that that would give us a better platform to make sure we could sort of spring from. With Tyrese's pace off the right, Will Smallbone sort of looking to support the front, and we had Nick and Liam. We sort of two of the sort of best targets we've got, so we could put the ball up to them and play around their feet. Um, and I thought first five minutes, I thought West Brom came out of the blocks as you would expect at home. I thought there was a little spell, probably between 10 and maybe 25 minutes, where I thought we looked we looked decent. I thought we were comfortable in the game. I thought we got into some good areas. We nearly scored, um, and I thought we were looking I thought we were looking comfortable at that point. And then I think certainly the first half, the turning point was when Nick went off the pitch. You know, in, in both boxes really, because he picked up Bartley in set plays, which wasn't caused as an issue to that point. And I thought his creativity until the stage he went off was good and it gave us a target to hit and we looked comfortable. I think beyond that, set plays became more of an issue. I didn't think that we did the basics well enough, we didn't pick up second balls, we didn't use the ball well enough. And then at that point, once they score, it then becomes tough. You know, and I changed the shape at half time, I go back to a back five. But I knew in this game, because they were playing a third three, when your wing backs jump across, you're going to end up one for one in the game and I tried to avoid that before the match, that's why I resulted to a four, because you end up one for one at the top end, and we have to we have to defend that way, and if anything, they look more dangerous than us. So, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't, um, it wasn't a great sort of performance, or certainly not a great result for us today. What's the biggest disappointment that you take from the game? Um, I was disappointed in the shape in the first half, we didn't do it well enough, I don't know if we didn't have a, as good an understanding as what I maybe expected us to have, um, so from that perspective, from my point of view, I was really disappointed in that. You know, that first half for me was was uh, was based on the shape more than anything else. I think the second half, um, albeit with more control of the game, we didn't really look threatening. If I'm being honest, you with a couple of little bits and pieces, but if anything, on the transition, they looked more dangerous than us. And that's what happens when you end up bumping your wing backs up. It's only way you can attack in that shape. So um, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. For a number of years now, when the team's gone behind, it's been a real struggle to get back into the game. Do you feel as though that's a mental thing that needs to be worked on? Yeah, I think it, it must be a mental thing because it's certainly not a physical thing. You know, I think physically we can run about, we can compete. What I did think today was I thought you could tell that that's us played five games in 14 days and you could tell they've had a clean week to prepare for the game. I thought they looked sharper, they looked brighter, they picked up second balls better, they landed on things quicker, they anticipated things quicker. Um, and when the fundamentals of the game are in their favour, I mean, it, it, it makes it doubly difficult at that point. So, um, yeah, I, th I think this is a welcome break for us um, to recharge, get some players back, and then hopefully go and compete better in the second half of the season. In terms of consistency of results, what can you try and do to fix that issue? Consistency in performance, really. Consistency in competitiveness. Com consistency in terms of understanding what it is we're doing, how we're doing it. Um, yeah, all of that, you know, so we've been inconsistent. Do you remember what's that last four games? We've won two and lost two, and then even go back beyond that, I think we'd won four, lost four. So there doesn't seem to be any middle ground for us at the moment. Um, and we need to make sure that when we're not playing well, we pick up points, because that's what other teams do. You know, so, yeah, listen, we, we know what we've got to do. You know, there's a lot of work to be done in this sort of three, four week period. You mentioned that three or four week period because of the World Cup break. How big an opportunity do you feel that is? I think it's a good opportunity for us to get key players back. You know, I think today we missed the physicality, like so in the middle. I think Dijon Sterling naturally in terms of defensively is very strong. Um, but yeah, th th there's a lot to come back. I think that there's a lot for us to work on, to get an understanding about. Um, and I think we need to understand the importance of every game and what we need to put in to try and get ourselves a result, you know, so... Yeah, there's a lot to do. What will that three or four week period look like? Um, the rest just now, because I've had five games in 14 days and I thought you could see that with a lot of the players. Um, and then for the next three weeks after that, we'll be down to hard work. Yeah, And then we've got a few new members of staff we'll be recruiting, which will certainly help us and, and hopefully that'll be an improvement and move us forward.